What's up guys, it's Big Bear 77 back at you with a real quick video and we are talking top 5, uh, this is the Bear Caves top 5, I'm bringing it back, top 5 Disney villains, classic version, um, now this is kind of an idea that I got from, uh, Cat D's video, now she's a, uh, another YouTuber who likes collecting pop vinyls, um, things like that, uh, she's big into Disney, uh, right now she's doing horror films actually for the month of October, kind of a movie reviews of some horror films. Go check her out. She's got an awesome videos. Uh, I watch her videos. She's actually one of the ones that are on my priority list whenever I get uh, watch later videos that I'm not able to watch right away. She's one of the first ones I go back to for sure to watch her videos. Um, really just enjoy her videos completely. Um, and she's part of the Funko community. Uh, Funko Collectors Community uh, here on YouTube. The cats are going off. Let's get into this video. Let's start off with number five. Um, this one I actually had a harder time picking uh, because I actually had three in this spot. And I, ha I did my whole process of elimination um, by doing like a... Uh, list pros and cons of which one should be here and and really it came down to just have to make the choice because well i still could make the choice after doing pros and cons um the one that wins out though is queen of hearts why i like queen of hearts well guys growing up alice in wonderland was one of my favorites and the queen of hearts was that type of villain that you uh you got a kick out of it. You liked. I don't know what it was about her. Uh, maybe it's the off with the heads uh, or whatever it may be or the way she treated her uh, her loyal or her subject, should I say. Um, the rabbit, all that stuff. I loved Alice in Wonderland and Queen of Hearts happened to be one of them. And uh, she was right there teetering on that bubble line, but I had to pick her the favorite out of the three. And uh, she made the list, so... It's what it is. At number four, we got four. Sorry, not five, four. We got one of my all-time favorites. I'm sorry. This is one of my all-time favorites, and there would be no Peter Pan without Captain Hook. Yeah. Captain Hook is number four. Uh, now, a little bit of a story time real quick. Uh, when I was in first grade, we had a, a, a teacher who, you know, he, he asked everybody. We were doing, like, this uh, Halloween parade or something like that. Maybe it was a Christmas parade. I can't remember. Uh, downtown uh, in California. Um, in Lamont, California, and we dressed up as the Lost Boys. He dressed up as Peter Pan, uh, and we went into the parade, and that was pretty cool. And, and Peter Pan's always been one of my favorites, and I always thought, hey, what if I was a Lost Boy? I don't know what it was about it. I guess the ventures they go on and stuff like that. Well, Hook happened to be one of my favorites, and in fact, he's actually one of my... This list is not all just strictly favorites. Uh, this is just my top five villains. Uh, he happens to be one of my all-time favorites. So, um, at number three, we got Chernabog. A lot of people leave him off of the list. Actually, I've seen a lot of lists that does not have Chernabog even mentioned. Um, now, the thing about him is he's a demon uh, created by Walt Disney. And Walt Disney has actually gone on to say in an interview uh, that he compared him to Satan himself. Uh, that should show you how, how, how frightening this villain is. This is probably the scariest, the most meanest villain Walt Disney ever brought to life. Um, and at the time, some said it, draw, it drew a line and, and, and he was teetering on that line with this villain. I think that that makes this villain go down as one of the all-time great villains. And, uh, you know, him and Captain Hook, I had them going back and forth for three and four. Uh, he wins out and gets number three spot. Um, I just, I, I think he's a great villain. I, I'm sorry. Uh, so I had to include him in my list. Now let's move on to really my locks of the day. Uh, number one and number two, they were straight locks from the get-go. Uh, in fact, when I started this list, I put down five, two, four, three, two, one. And I didn't even start at number five. I started at one and two because I knew who they were going to be. They were written down. Boom. Locked in. They haven't even gone back and forth. I haven't even second guessed my decisions on these two at all. The rest of them I have second guessed at some point. But these two, no second guessing because number two is Scar. Scar for the Lion King. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? You guys know what I'm talking about. Scar is just one of those villains. I mean, willing to kill his own brother. To take over the kingdom and blame it on his nephew. I mean, 
you can't get any more villainy than that. I mean, that's villain if villain was ever a villain. Okay, you guys know what I'm saying, right? So Scar, without a doubt, my number two. Uh, and actually, in fact, I'll tell you guys something's truthful about Scar. I'm actually a fan of Scar. Uh, uh, if, if you know what, we could say that I have a Scar fandom. Something like that. Anyways, I went out and bought the coffee cup. It's a sports related coffee cup, but it's scar related too from Disney uh, from the Disney store. You guys might remember that video back uh, in uh, a couple months ago or something like that. Uh, back in August. Um, so, and, and, and I don't have the coffee cup to really show you guys right now, but uh, really enjoy Scar. I think he's one of the greatest villains. I don't know. It's just something about Scar. Number one, this one's on everybody's list. You will not go through a list without having this one up there. And usually you see this villain at the one or two spot. Normally, I've uh, here lately I've been seeing this villain at the number one spot. Because you don't talk to Walt Disney villains without talking. Melissa Fent. That's right, Melissa Fent. So, Melissa Fent. What can you say about Melissa Fent? There's no doubt that she should be on everybody's list. Uh, um, all these villains really are keys. If you're writing a story and you want to have a good villain, these are villains to write because you want the villain someone you can love to hate. And you have that love to hate relationship with that villain. Melissa Fent fits, the, fits that mold perfectly, of course. Um, she's just a villain that, you know, you, you want to hate on her. And, um, but at the same time, you wouldn't mind being a fan of hers. So Melissa Fent comes in at number one. I do have a little bit of a bonus runner-up. Let's go check it out. My runner-ups. Oh, yeah, I did say runner-ups, didn't I? I already spoiled it for you, didn't I? Yeah, because I told you at that number five spot, I had three fighting for that spot. Couldn't make a decision. Well, then when I came into my runner-up, still couldn't make a decision. I figured, hey, it's my video. Have two runner-ups. So that's what I'm going to do. And my runner-ups are, and you see them up there, Jafar and Cruella. The bill. That's right. Guys, Jafar, it's just something about Jafar. You just, you again, you love to hate on the character, but it's a really good villain. Um, that's all I have to say about Jafar. Cruella the bill, again, another character you love to hate. And if you're an animal lover, you automatically hate Cruella the bill. But then her character, her personality, her attitude, Makes the rest of the people also love to hate her. So Cruella de Vil, um, evil villains. And and in, in, in one of the shows me and Bergie watches together called Once Upon a Time, a couple of these villains, I actually kind of liked them in the show. I thought they were really good. Like Captain Hook. Um, even, even, uh, even Cruella de Vil, she, that, she was even more evil than that. Okay, I'm just saying. So, I mean... But as far as these villains from Disney goes, you can't make a list very easily because there's a lot of villains out there that you want to add to these lists. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this on out right now. Uh, but this list was harder for me to make than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be real easy to just go right through it. No. But guys, if you like this video, let me know first of all who you would add to this list. Who you might take away from this list. Or maybe there's a villain on here you really like. Let me know down there in the comment section and, and give me that like if you like this video. Just I appreciate every single time you guys hit that like button. It, it, it encourages me. Okay, it does. And guys, if you like this video and want to see more of this type of video or even some other stuff on my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And down there below will be a notification bell. Yeah, that bell. That's called a notification bell. So hit that so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Guys, I'm going to get on out of here. That's my top five. Classic version of the Disney villains. Go check out Cat D's video. The link's down below again. Go check everything out down there. There's a bunch of links down there, so go check them all out. Guys, I'm going to get on out of here. This is Big Bear. I'm signing out. I'm getting out of here. Peace. Catch you later.